Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 15th, 2020. My goodness, it's hard to believe we're halfway through this month already, and there's been an awful lot of back and forth here for us to consider in the price action of the charts. Yesterday, we saw a little bit of a mixed bag with the diamonds and the spy pulling back and the NASDAQ holding up and IWM kind of just camping out. And we broke a key psychological level yesterday with some considerable selling coming in the market. As you can see right here, this is 30,000 on the Dow. And we broke that down yesterday, pushing that lower. However, this morning, we show a little bit of bullishness. So what does that mean for today? Well, as we plan our day, let's grab ourselves something to drink. Let's buckle up and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, although we had a little bit of bearishness in that market yesterday, we've picked up some news uh, during the evening of a likely stimulus bill. It looks like Congress is feeling the pressure here, going to get something together on stimulus. And as you can see, we're getting a pushback up this morning, trying to recover some of that selling yesterday. And that will push us right back above that key psychological level of 30,000. However, one of the things we're starting to see is that we're running out of the news events. You know, we've been inspired every time we get a vaccine news event. It inspires the market higher. Well, I'm beginning to wonder if all of that is now baked in to the price. And I'm also beginning to wonder if stimulus has already been baked into price. Now, it is entirely possible that we could still, we get a big enough stimulus bill and everyone gets excited about it. We could still see that possibility of a Santa Claus rally toward the end of the year. But let's also keep in mind that we have rallied a lot in this market and considering the impacts that we're beginning to see um, around the country because of um, rising infection rates, hospitalizations, and those kind of things on COVID, states are um, reinforcing and adding to um, restric restrictions and lockdowns, which are going to impact um, company prices. So let's think about that a little bit and that possibility that although we could still see that Santa Claus rally come into play, we could also see that possibility that maybe we've already priced all of these things in and passing a stimulus bill may be a sell the news event where we bought the rumor, sell the news event. So we're going to want to watch this pretty carefully and be really, really cautious about chasing in. And hopefully yesterday you picked up that caution in my voice yesterday to be really careful about chasing stocks that are overextended. And yesterday's move should give you just a little bit of pause and the the wild bullishness that we've seen here lately and just the the tremendous danger when we're this extended in the market we could get these big potential swings those big reversals so watch that closely and be careful now what i will also go ahead and say is even though that selling came in yesterday and was pretty strong here in the dow what it did not do is it didn't break trend so although we did pull back and we did lose that 30,000 on the Dow, we really didn't break the trend. So really no technical damage here was created, except for that concern of that big, ugly, bearish engulfing candle and this possibility of a double top high right here. So watch that closely as we try to rally up and get fueled up on um, this potential stimulus. Just keep in mind that we still have challenges here to deal with and be really, really careful not to chase. One of the things that I'm doing is is being really careful not to overtrade um, in this market because of the severe swings that could easily come into play here really fast in the market. Let's take a look at um, the technicals here and just keep in mind um, that danger that I'm talking about is just how far away 
key supports are in the chart, and I'm talking about 50 day moving average and price supports, we're a long ways away from um, really good quality supports and price. So if those sellers do jump on, if those bears do get feisty, we could see some significant pullbacks if that were to occur. I'm not predicting that, but we need to be prepared for it in case that does occur. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also leaving behind a pretty concerning candle here with a lower high. Now that would indicate that possibility, that beginning of a possible downtrend. That's how we start a downtrend, right? We get a lower high in a chart. Now we're fueling up on that stimulus pressure and so we could completely reverse this back to the upside and once again I want to point out the fact that even though there was a pretty significant shot of selling yesterday we really didn't break down this current trend in the chart so I wouldn't get overly bearish here but I would sure raise my caution level um, and be a little bit more careful as you plan your trading ahead and remember take some profits take some profits along the way in case we can get that big shocking move back to the downside so they don't rip it right out of your account really quickly. Um, keep in mind that we still are a long ways away from our 50 day moving average. We're a long ways from good solid price supports in the chart as well. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, on the other hand, we seem to be turning the corner here. All of a sudden, the COVID-related stocks, the stay-at-home stocks, started to gain favor yesterday. And that's where the NASDAQ came in. It seemed like we had a little bit of a shift away from um, recovery stocks into more of uh, stay-at-home stocks. And you can see that was fueling things up here yesterday in the nasdaq but we do have some pressures here starting to build as well let's keep in mind that we have antitrust lawsuits um, happening on um, some of our big tech companies uh, beginning the federal government really starting to press and then there's news today that the uk is passing um, new restrictions and things that could bring some really hefty fines to some of these big tech companies. So watch that closely as pressure starting to build on these. There may not be quite the upside that we've seen before during COVID here in the tech sector. Now keep in mind that as we push back up, we've got a challenge of a resistance high in here that we'll want to take a look at. Our trend is certainly very bullish, but I have to say that even in the short term, we're a little bit extended here on that move and that possibility of um, the bears attacking at any time. So watch that carefully if we can't garner enough energy um, in this stimulus bill. Remember, it could, like I said, it could be a sell the news event once they finally pass it. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been very, very strong and it's held its strength and held its strength yesterday very, very well. Although there was a little bit of a back and forth in that yesterday, it ended up holding up very, very well. And it's really holding strong based on financials that did pretty well yesterday. A little pullback, but did pretty well in holding up and those energy stocks also holding up pretty well. So let's keep an eye on that. But I have to warn you that even in the short term, it's hard to mistake that this is starting to become a little bit parabolic in that chart. So keep that in mind if those bears do attack, this this could have a significant slip to the downside, so watch that close. And let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, well, that's not what we wanna see when we're trying to reach out for new highs in the market, seeing the VIX starting to rally pretty sharply. And you can see closing yesterday above a 24 handle here in that chart. And I've mentioned this before, I don't think we have any major problem unless we break above this little downtrend that we see in here in the chart and break above that 50 day moving average. Now, if we get above there and hold, that's where the real selling could come in. So watch that closely if that were to occur. However, with the new, um, 
stimulus hopes coming into the market, we may catch this as a pullback. But let's just watch that carefully. That 24 handle is certainly pointing to the risk of a higher volatility coming into the market as that uncertainty on uh, the pandemic continues to grow. Let's take a look at um, T2122. And this, I got to tell you, continues to give me a concern. And yesterday we did get a substantial pullback. Notice that that helps a lot. And that actually opens the door for this little rally um, that we're seeing this morning. But will it be enough to overcome that selling wave yesterday? Well, that's yet to be seen. But we needed this pullback. Um, we need that little bit of a flush to provide some opportunities in the market. Let's see if this bounce back up is going to push us right back up in here into that bearish resistance zone. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Keep in mind, if those bulls um, are not able to overcome the bears, if the bears decide to really get feisty here and push this down, we still have plenty of room for a downside move in the market. Let's take a look at uh, T2101. And this is another thing providing me some concern in the market. You may not be as concerned about it as I am, but one of the things I don't like is seeing the market continuing to stretch higher and higher and higher and seeing the absolute market breadth continuing to decline. That means fewer and fewer stocks are holding the market up and that raises some concern. So watch that closely. If we're starting to lose a little bit of that bullish energy um, in the market, that opens a door for that bearish attack. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a couple things that we wanna pay attention to. First and foremost, we have the beginning of the FOMC meeting today. Uh, that means that tomorrow we're going to get that FOMC announcement. We're going to get the Fed chair press conference tomorrow. And um, it also points to the fact that we could have the market pause a little bit. It's not atypical to see as we as we wait for the FOMC decision for the market to get a little bit light and choppy in anticipation of that move. We'll want to watch carefully for that, even though we are being fueled up on some stimulus news we might see a little bit of light choppy price action after the open. So watch for that carefully. Um, also notice that we've got Empire State Manufacturing today. We've got import export prices um, that will come out this morning. And we've got that industrial production number that will be the, the biggest number of the day. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Treasury International comes after the bell today. So probably no worries there. But we'll want to just keep an eye on that. And then remember, our big days, uh, we have a big day of uh, economic news on um, Wednesday to prepare for and a big day of news uh, or a big morning of news on Thursday. So keep that in mind. We have a lot of data coming our way, so plan your risk carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And our earnings calendar, it, we're really starting to slow down on those earnings reports. And honestly, I could really only come up with a couple of stocks that had any notability at all. And I gotta tell you, they're nothing that I would expect to move the market. Um, AOUT is something we might want to pay attention to. These outdoor brands, um, this thing has been just consolidating since it's um, IPO. Not really much to go on here, but you know, maybe somewhat notable in the market. And NDSN, and I gotta tell you, this is uh, really all I could come up with that was particularly notable in the market. Um, we'll wanna keep an eye on this. Notice that this has been in a um, wedge pattern. We've got that current down trend current uptrend and looks like we're trying to power a little bit higher this morning i can't tell you if that's as a result of the earnings report or if that's just the the bullish uh, stimulus energy pushing that back up but let's watch that resistance in that chart as we push back up let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell 
icon so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to helpful in how you plan your day, um, if you could please um, also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and then please share this video out there on your social media. It helps us to continue to grow. And I just want to say thanks to everyone. You know, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I read all of the comments. I don't get a chance to often answer every single comment, but I, I just want everyone to know that truly, 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 you guys humble me with your kind words. Um, I, I really appreciate it. I never in my wildest dreams would have expected so many people would appreciate these videos. Um, all over 950 videos now on YouTube. So there's a lot of education out there for you to take advantage of. So please um, keep sharing those videos, keep watching those videos, and I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks that are setting up. And remember that every time I post one of the uh, one of these videos, that the stocks that I show is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is your job as a trader to know your tolerance to risk, to have a plan on how you trade. And I got to warn you that anytime you blindly follow someone else's trades, you're really asking for trouble. So please be very, very careful. These charts may be good for a watch list. Do your own evaluation, your own due diligence, and decide whether or not these are right for you. Now, one of the things I did yesterday is I did add a little risk. I bought Coca-Cola yesterday. And you can see Coca-Cola is in kind of an interesting pattern here. I had an alert in this area where we broke this little downtrend and we're holding this area of support. And this area of support is relatively significant as you can see in the price action here. And I'm starting to see Coke perk a little bit higher this morning. Now I can't tell you if this is gonna be a winning trade or not, but I did pick this up yesterday and I am looking for some upside potential here in Coca-Cola. We'll see if we can actually get enough follow through in the market to make that occur. But what I wanna point out more than anything is that I'm not chasing a stock that's already very extended in its move. So what I mean by that is I'm checking, looking at these stocks that are in these tighter consolidations, trying to hold support levels, buying at or near price support levels, rather than chasing stocks that are very, very extended in the market. That provides me lower risk trades. And if these trades were to lose, and by the way, I lose just like everyone else does in the market. But if these were to lose, I lose very little in that trade um, rather than some of those stocks that are extremely extended. So I don't know if that's helpful or not, but I wanted to point that out, the kind of trades that I look for um, in, my, in my trading. Now, another trade that I added yesterday, I added Cisco. Um, and as you can see, what I've got going here in Cisco is a very similar pattern. Notice that we broke a very long-term downtrend in this chart. And, and in breaking that, we've popped through, we've pulled back, and we're trying to hold this level of price support here in Cisco. Now, I can't tell you if Cisco is going to get energized and really get moving here. Um, I really considered buying this as a stock trade to pick up the dividend yield and just hold this for a while. But... Um, went ahead with an option position, but let's keep an eye on uh, charts like this that we're buying at or near support that aren't really extended up in their moves to the upside. Those are the kind of charts that I think are interesting at the moment. Let's take a look. Um, now, some of the stocks that I have been mentioning over and over and over are starting to show some problems um, here. Notice that boot. We had these really nice patterns here, and now we're starting to catch a little bit of bearish pressure here on some of these stocks. Now, these are those stocks that have been consolidating over to trend that I've been kind of waiting for, but they're starting to show a little bit of pressure here in places, so be really careful. Take a look at Caterpillar. Now, Caterpillar is another one of those charts that is holding up nicely in a trend, kind of sliding over here sideways. And we tried to get moving yesterday, but really ran into some resistance. But I don't think we broke down at all. We're holding that price support in here, so that chart still remains as a point uh, or chart of interest for me in that possibility that we could move higher. So keep an eye on Caterpillar. Take a look at Peloton. I made mention that uh, stay at home stocks gained some favor yesterday, and that was certainly true here in Peloton. 
and notice Peloton um, holding some price support. Here again, breaking downtrend, rallying above resistance, holding on in a nice tight consolidating move. Those are the kind of charts I'm looking for rather than those charts that have these big extensions and trying to chase into those big extensions. I want that lower risk entry. And Peloton was a beautiful potential move yesterday pushing back up. So keep an eye on that chart looking pretty good. I think we should also have a little bit of a pause here on some of the stocks that rallied really, really strongly in anticipation of a Biden win. And they may have kind of gotten a little bit ahead of themselves. Notice CGC. Now this would be my favorite of the cannabis stocks, but we're running into a little bit of problem here. Notice that we cannot seem to hold onto this price support and we're breaking down just a bit. Now, if this can, hold in this area and pop right back up and still consolidate up here, I think we're in good shape. But if we fail and catch a lower high in here, follow this little downtrend, then we may have some problems on that front. And we may want to start looking for that possibility of some short trades. Um, and what I mean in short trades, maybe those stocks that are already starting to show us that down move. Take a look at GPS. GPS is one of those stocks that are showing us a little bit of concern here in that chart. Notice that we broke down. Notice that we are really running into a little bit of price problem here in that we tried to rally back up. We ran into resistance and those sellers are coming into that chart, pushing it down. So we're, are, we are seeing a few stocks setting up for that potential short. Um, I looked at a chart like ABT. This was a pretty ugly reversal yesterday. Notice this downtrend that we've got going in the chart. We've been consolidating right around a price support level. If those bears actually push on this a little bit more, you could see that price support level breaking in that chart. And we're starting to see some of these stocks show a little bit of strain. Take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks is a, oops, not Starbucks. Um, it was Costco. Costco. Costco showing that little bit of concern here. Um, notice that we broke support. We cracked up through here, but we've not been able to hold that. And now we've tested that resistance level twice, trying to push back up and haven't been able to get that done. So let's watch this here. This could be a real critical point for Costco, whether or not it's actually going to hold here. If this were to break that little level of support right there, we could see a bit more selling pushing us back down into this stronger level of price support in that chart. So watch that closely. A little bit of short, maybe starting to show up here in the market, although our indexes are holding up quite well. Take a look at stocks like KHC. Now KHC, one of those old boring divvy payers um, in the market, but notice that we're holding a pretty nice upside trend. We've been respecting price support. We break through, we consolidate over to trend, we break on higher, we pull back to that trend, still showing some bullishness. Now, this is rallying towards some significant resistance in the chart, but keep an eye on some of these old boring stocks, divvy payers, that may be starting to gain a little bit of attention. I did mention um, yesterday that we saw lots of strength, um, seeing lots of strength in uh, those game sector stocks and really powered higher yesterday and pulled back strongly at the sell-off yesterday. Um, TTWO trying hard. Um, we saw nice moves in EA Sports yesterday, pushing up Electronic Arts, pushing up any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity in that chart. And ATVI, um, really flew high yesterday. It was a monster move and continuing on this morning, I would suspect we could get an attack of that all time high here in Activision as that stay at home um, stock starts to pick up a little bit of ground. So there's a few stocks for you to consider today. I want to wish you all a fantastic day I'm running a little bit long in this video. Everyone take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Wednesday morning. Take care.